What is going on guys, today we are looking at one to watch Thiago Silva. He came out yesterday as the SBC to start or to kick off one to watch. We got Thiago Silva as an SBC, we got Jota as the objective and then obviously 10 of the first team. Obviously there's two teams in one to watch this year. So to be honest, I thought Calvert-Lewin would be a lot cheaper. He came out prior Thiago Silva, but Thiago Silva seems to be the cheap one, only requiring an 82 rated team with 80 chem, and it's coming in about 17k on the Xbox, 14 on the PlayStation, and 16 on the PC, so relatively cheap. Would you want him in your team? I don't personally think he would even fit a starter team. Really, with a 59 pace that he has, he was a big name going in PSG um, and obviously his AC Milan days, but now he's kind of past it. He's, what, 36 years old? I, I just don't see a defender being meta in FIFA and still being that old in, in terms of what you can actually do. You've got Virgil, Gomez, you've got uh, even Lindelof's pace, not too bad. Tamore, Ake, there's so many different centre-backs you can get for a lot cheaper. Um, obviously, the top top lads are not going to be that cheap, but some of the lower ones, like Tamore, especially his partner in uh, in crime there, is a lot quicker. And that's pretty much what you want in your centre-backs. You don't want a 59-pace centre-back. He's great defending, great physicals, but it's mainly the pace that just lets him down. So for me, I kind of got him just because later on you don't know how well he's going to do in terms of in real life performance because in real life it doesn't matter as much you won't see him playing too much in in the chelsea team i don't think but obviously they could need him any defenders get injured then obviously he will step up to the mark and potentially could get an inform it's it's not going to be many but he has got a nice rating of 85 to start with um, and then obviously that could go up to 86 87 and at the very least later on in the game you could use him as an sbc player as a little bit of fodder because he's just not going to go in your team for me, I'm going to try and do as many of the SBCs as possible. So we've already done Calvert-Lewin. We've already done Thiago Silva now. And then we have La Liga's player of the month. And then we also have another SBC. I believe it's going to be Matuidi, I want to say. I feel like he will win over Higuain. Just because, again, it's easier to put someone who's a little bit less or a little bit older as such because both of them are not necessarily in their prime anymore but i think a, a midfielder definitely does better than a striker looking at tiago silver then two star skill moves three star weak foot he is a high defensive work rate with a medium uh, attacking he is right footed obviously pace wise like i said 57 acceleration 61 sprint speed is just not all that defensive stats Incredible. 86 defending, 88 interceptions, 86 stand, 84 slide with the 87 defensive awareness. He's already got 90 jumping and 82 strength. Stamina at 71. I feel like at this point in the game, you definitely can get away with that. Defenders, even throughout FIFA, as long as it's probably above 70 to 75, you normally can get away with that. And to be honest, any of the, the top names, I haven't really seen them with any lower than that anyway. Uh, other than that, we've got 86 composure, which is is, again, a lovely stat right there. 81 reactions. And in terms of the agility balance, 60s, well, high 60s, there's not much you can do. In terms of chemistry style, obviously a lot of people will be going with that out-and-out out shadow. It will turn him into an 89-rated centre-back. Giving him 69 pace, that now could be potential for a, a first-week, second-week squad. Other than that, I feel like you can get better straight away. 94 defending, which that goes up to, that's really, really good. You, you obviously won't really have a problem with his standing tackles. It will be people blitzing around him. And with this game, the passing element of it really allows people to get in behind. And if you haven't got a centre-back that can recover like someone like Tamori Ake, who personally I've been using, or even someone like Varane, it's just not going to work. So for me, Thiago Silva is going to be just fodder. You could use him in a Brazilian squad and have a little fun with him, a Chelsea past and present. So again, there is uses for him as competitive foot champs, as into going into rivals. You're just not going to want him. He's really, really not going to be that sort of player that's going to enhance your team that much, unless you literally have nobody in the team. You're kind of starting from scratch. Maybe you only got the game Friday, then potentially he would be a nice little get for you there. But I feel like you'll upgrade him far too quickly. And even with the 17,000, you could literally go get Aki and um, Tamore and then you've got two centre backs higher pace and then the chance to put a shadow on them giving them 80 plus pace rather than giving him 
a, a shadow and getting 69 plus pace. For me, I, I just think he is going to be out and out fodder. I will hold him in the team just to see if he does go up. Obviously, if he does go up, I'm interested to see if his pace goes up much because then it could get more usable, but I feel like he'll need at least a plus 10, plus 15 pace before we can have that discussion because then we get the shadow on and he gets 80 pace. That then becomes a really nice card, and I feel like that will take far too many informs to be able to do. So let's get into the overall of him. We've gone through some gameplay. I've said he's great at defending. There's no, there's nothing wrong with his actual tackling and, and necessarily the strength. It is literally all about that pace for him. And that is one thing that he really lacks. So going into the overall for Thiago Silva, like I said, 17, 14, 16, all relatively cheap. I, I feel like an 82 rated team is very, very easy to get. And there is plenty of fodder players out there. And the market is dead. The market is absolutely crashed. With the release of one to watches, some promo packs going into store, it was bound to happen that we're going to hit an absolute rock bottom. And then when Foot Champs comes back, it's everything, any meta player is going to go up then. So obviously then it will come to the fact that some 83s, 84s will go up in price. We'll see who the real fodder players are. But in terms of everything, as you can see, Shadow on him, 89 rated, well, 89.3, which isn't bad. It is literally just this stat. This stat for me is the big is the big one for me. Links wise, in fact, actually, has he played any matches? I do like this tab now. If I can get rid of the links one, I do like it. So he's played two matches. He's subbed out once. So that does tell me that he's starting for Chelsea at this moment in time. And I don't, I think they've been in a cup. But if he has started and not in the cup, then then fair enough, he may potentially get some informs, which really would be nice, but it does require, as a centre-back, a goal and normally a clean sheet at the very minimum, because how many defenders that are being looked at for these team of the weeks, it is very difficult to be able to do that. Maybe he gets a lucky corner and then obviously a clean sheet, that would actually be really nice for him to get him up to an 86, 87, and hopefully even up to an 89, which is a bit optimistic, but for an, a 17k rate, a 17k player, that for me would be absolutely perfect. In terms of links, uh, we have no other Brazilians in Chelsea. Obviously, that would be the perfect, perfect link. Strong links, obviously, there is so many icons you can get for Brazil. Um, obviously, Alisson is another cracking one with Edison. Um, and then we've got someone like Fabinho, Firmino, um, Conte being a, a strong link for, for Chelsea. Havertz, Zayec. Um, obviously, Zayec is a one to watch, which you'll see as Aki, Zayec, and Van Dijk are my links. In overall, I've given him a 6 out of 10. I feel like he's just above average, but I think that is mainly just for right now. If then we're looking maybe literally a week, two weeks down the line, I just don't think he's going to get into anybody's team. No matter no matter if you play this game casually, it, you still will have better than that. With all the objective packs, with the marquee matchups, with pre-order packs and all of that, you will bound to have someone better than Thiago Silva. So that's why for me, he is literally just a fodder. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. We'll be bringing it out, I believe, Calvert-Lewin after this one. And then it'll be Jota after that. And we've got so many other one to watch is still to do. So just definitely uh, subscribe and come back for that. Bye from that. I'll see you for the next one. Peace.